I just ate this entire bag of Jack's cheese curls in one sitting. The whole bag. The entire bag. And you might say, Brian, what does that have to do with SpongeBob SquarePants Cosmic Shakeup? Absolutely nothing. But hey, I wanted to vent. Uh, not vent, but just exclaim my shame, I guess. Uh, this is where the outside is here. 950 calories, by the way. 950 calories for that bag. Uh, my name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien, SpongeBob SquarePants, the cosmic shakeup. And yes, I just ate like all the calories I could for the day. Um, actually, you know what? I did it between the the turkey sausage egg and cheese sandwich I had earlier, and then that, then I'm good. I had it. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. A what? We share of, um, 70%. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them. Since the shortage. Everything's in shortage, but 70%? Don't ever take a deal like that. Everybody wants their 20%, but 70 is way too high. 70%? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sounds a bit fishy. A bit, a bit crabby. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Okay. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. Uh, you know, the percentage gets higher every time. I've worked with these deals and these, these people before. They just want their 20%. All these uh, agents and whatever, right? So, you know, 90% is a little bit too high here. But, you know, I guess it's Mr. Krabs. It's uh, what you can expect at this point of the game here. So it looks like, oh, could I bail out of here? No, it's literally just me driving on the seahorse thing. So I haven't played up to this point. I have no idea what happens here. Uh, it looks like it's a good time running around. Still the Western. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're already off. Okay. Could I have just walked? Oh, we're, I forgot we're... Oh, <laughs> funny meeting you here. There's Juicy Prophet, I mean, uh, Cacti, all around these parts. Okay, so we gotta grab the cactus juice, bring it back to the saloon, which I can't believe they still were, like, drinking. Like, cactus juice, obviously, they weren't drinking, like, vacation juice, but it was, like, very clearly implied that there was some sort of thing there, so whatever, but... Uh, today was a very long day for me. Uh, not really, actually. Totally lying to you there. Sorry about that. I meant that it was a semi-productive day. Yes, I did laundry. I did grocery shopping, which you can clearly tell, because I had that entire bag of jacks. It's like 1,400 calories. And I kind of low-key knew when I bought, when I picked up that bag, that I'm like, you know what? I know I'm going to eat this whole bag in one sitting. But something within me was like, you know what? You deserve it. And guess what? I definitely do not deserve it. Uh, like a thousand percent, I did nothing to justify eating an entire bag's worth of this stuff at all. What's the way for me to go? Can I even go anywhere? It looks like it's not even an option. I'm going to fall into the goo. You, there we Thank go. Um, the enemies that were out toward the front when I first uh, started the video here, those things, I, like as soon as I left the saloon, they were out there. I was going to try to get a collectible or two, but it clearly uh, did not work out that way. So whatever, that's fine. So yeah, I did a whole bunch of uh, grocery shopping. I got more Hot Pockets. As a Hot Pockets brand ambassador, I finally used my coupons that I have. So uh, in case you had no idea, yes, I am indeed a Hot Pockets brand ambassador. You might say, how do you even, how do, you even do that? Uh, you just enter into a contest and you get people to vote for you, and the people, y'all voted for me. And so why wouldn't I uh, use the Hot Pocket coupons I have, you know? They actually expire in like a month. So, oh, I have to suck the juice out. There we go. Now it's all good to go. Now I can get to the next area, because it magically just fell out of the sky. That's fine, too. So I managed to become a Hot Pockets brand ambassador after I saw the competition on the socials. And then I said to people, hey, it's literally free to vote for me. Uh, can you vote for me in this thing? And everybody was like, yeah, we'll do it. Sure. And enough people did, and I beat out every other person in that competition. So now, not only do I get... Is that a... 
will break his arm patting himself on the back. A vain man will break his arm patting himself on the back. Okay. That's actually kind of fitting because I was talking about me being a Hot Pockets brand ambassador. So I don't know this 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 skull is listening. Okay. So everybody voted for me. Not everybody, but you know, most people. Enough people that I managed to actually win. And now I received a micro freezer, which is a Hot Pockets micro freezer, which is essentially just a freezer. It's a microwave freezer combination, right? I got an award of a shield. Sure. Okay. So it's a microwave with a freezer underneath it. And they are not, they are attached, but they're also not. Like, you can use one or the other. Like, there's two different plugs for them, right? I don't know why I was making a motion like I was eating right there, but like, there's two different, two different plugs. So you can use them separately if you really wanted to. And it's actually a pretty uh, swanky little uh, uh, micro freezer. And it's actually a full, so it's like, you know when you have a mini fridge, right? Pro I mean, you probably do, right? A mini fridge, but it's that except just a freezer portion. So I can have more room, you know, to store obviously, obviously all the, okay. Obviously all the Hot Pockets I could ever want in my life. Well, not really, but a lot of them. And then I can, I can store other things in there. So, you know, I can actually go get ice cream and have it be stored in there or whatever. Whatever other frozen thing I may or may not want, I can actually have inside the freezer. Which works out super well. So now I have a whole uh, supply of that. But they also managed to provide a lot of gear. Not that I necessarily, honestly, honestly, not that I necessarily needed it. Because I have all this great gear already. But, you know, it obviously helped with uh, the prize package they have. So Elgato is the company that basically has a has a stronghold on the, the uh, content creator space, I guess. They're like, they're the ones... Who have like all this really great gear, uh, ranging from like a laptop situation to uh, like the capture device that you see here. So like when the screen flickers for whatever reason, that's Elgato. Not their fault. It's because of my uh, circuit, but whatever. So they have a lot of the gear, and so not only did I win all the year supply hot pockets that microwave freezer combination, I also won a whole bunch of gear. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, cool. Gear including a laptop. A super powerful laptop. That's not what I wanted to do. I forgot it's holding down X in this case, not A. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So, yeah, I got the laptop, capture card. There's a, a light, a ring light that I'm actually using right now to illuminate my face. Because you got to be sure to see my face. Uh, the whole background is lit up red right now. Uh, mostly because of Valentine's Day, but it's actually uh, fitting for Hot Pockets in general. So... Yeah, they, uh, they ended up giving me all this really cool stuff, and it's obviously super helpful to have by means of uh, not having it, you know? It, I'd rather have it than not have I'd rather have it than not have it. Yes, that's the terminology I wanted to use. So that was a thing that happened uh, a couple of months ago, back in October. I, I was the, what, the October winner, I think. So that's, what, a salt shaker? It kind of looks like a salt shaker, but whatever. Yeah, sure. So slightly more powerful enemies are being introduced now. That's fine. So, not every single thing I do in the history of forever is now, like, I have to talk about Hot Pockets every single time, right? But, for the sake of uh, talking about food and what I actually did purchase at the grocery store, I did get Hot Pockets, and they, they give me a whole bunch of coupons, and I haven't used any of the coupons previously because I just forgot. And so, the one time I had the coupons on me was today, and I used them. And the reason I had the coupons on me was because I... Unfortunately, well, uh oh, big slime. Uh oh. Okay, well let's let's make it happen, man. Meow meow. Are you Mr. Krabs? Are you Plankton of this reality? You see this? One, two, three. Oh, is it this? It must be this. Never mind. You have the hat. That's why. What? Really? Okay. But you saw he was wearing the he was wearing the hat. Why are you standing there? All right, bye. See ya. Oh, that worked out nicely. 
So I went there and I had I had the coupons. I never used them before, and they actually worked. The guy had to uh, come over and like help out because he was like, "What are these coupons? What are they for?" But I had the coupons on me because I was supposed to go over to my friend's house uh, a couple weeks ago. Actually, there's gonna be a cutscene right here. So instead of doing that, uh, or instead of me telling you, I'll just do this real quick. Hold on. Return the object to the familiar thing. Okay, return the object to the familiar stranger. Fill the barrel with juice. It has a juice. That's such a small margin of error. So if you go right here, it doesn't work. But if you go right here, right here, here, like to get the prompt to walk up to it and do it, right? Hold on. There we go. I thought it, I thought I did something wrong. I thought I did something wrong, but no, I was clearly uh, doing okay. So now I get to just go in the cart, right? Collect more cactus. Oh, I got to go back into here. All right, cool. A lot of these little areas of uh, running around and stuff. So I had the coupons, the Hot Pocket coupons in my wallet, not because I consciously remembered to bring them to uh, Market Basket, but because I was, I, I bailed on a friend's birthday party. No, I bailed on a friend's uh, board game night. So... How are the, how are those two things like rel related at all? It's you know barely related. But I was gonna go to a friend's uh, board game night, and then they the the main issue was that these people and they're they're my friends, right? It's like they are friends, but like not like the the people that I'm super super close with. Like definitely my friends, but not like the closest friends I've ever had in my life. So, but they're great, you know, they invited me to their wedding and it's it's fantastic, right? So it's worthwhile to go for the night and hang out and all that. So the last game night they had a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago at this point, they had a game night, but they did not invite me to the game night because they thought they had already invited me, but it turns out they forgot to invite me to the game night. And I had been to, like, every single other game night they had had, you know, before everything happened with lockdown and all that. So I was a recurring person, a part of these game nights for months and months and months. The lockdown portion happens. Uh, they, re they start them back up. And then I got left off the list because it was just they were using a different list. So they, they named the, the event for the next meetup, the next board game night. They named it after me. Like a special, like the Bricks O'Brien uh, board game night extravaganza. They they named it that, and then the by the time it ended up showing up or the the board game night ended up happening, I didn't feel like going because I was just not in a good space. I was just tired, and you know what is going on over here? Jeez, okay. I was just tired, and whatever else was going on, I just wasn't feeling it. And those board game nights. Anytime you hang out with a bunch of friends, it's always very social, you know, 100% energy, right? And so some of the people that go are obviously like my closest friends that I like hanging out with and all that, right? But some of the other people that go to these board game nights are not of that group. And they're definitely like, you know, they're friends, but they are not my closest friends ever, I guess. So it's a, it's a bit more um, socially... Th th there's more of the social battery that's taken out of you by comparison to just hanging out with one or two friends. And I'm normally not that kind of guy. Like I, I like going to all the different events and doing all the things, right? Oh, you're supposed to do it from down here. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, I'm gonna need more set than that, boy -o. Sure, okay. Mr. Krabs is never satisfied, man. He just never is. So I went to the board game night after uh, not going for the past couple months, and I brought the Hot Pocket coupons because apparently one of the, the friends that was there brought a box of 12 Hot Pockets to celebrate, you know, me being a uh, Hot Pocket ambassador, or, or even as like a, as a joke. Not as a joke, but as a meme, you know, like, oh yeah, of oh geez, sure, okay. Like, hey, you know, like, let's celebrate by eating Hot Pockets, whatever, right? And so I brought the Hot Pocket coupons because I wanted to play into the joke and then like, hey, you know, obviously you made this whole event before for me and I very clearly bailed, so sorry. Uh, take these Hot Pocket coupons. So the coupons I have 
There's only a, a couple of them I have left, and they actually expire fairly soon. Like, they awarded them to me in October, and it was a year's supply of Hot Pockets, but it, they, like, I got them in October, and they expire in March, so I can't use a year, like, I could use all the coupons, like 52 coupons, really quickly, but eating 52 boxes of Hot Pockets in, like, a three-month period, I love Hot Pockets. They're fantastic, but, you know, you gotta eat vegetables at some point, you know, uh, frozen or otherwise, so... I was not going to eat that many Hot Pockets in a given time. And then they were like, yeah, so that happens. Uh, we know that. So they got to... Okay. Whoops. My bad. So uh, they'll try to probably get me some uh, new ones. Because I was by no means... Am I a bush? That's weird. By no means was I going to eat all those Hot Pockets that quickly. So at some point... They will probably get me some new ones. That way I can have my true year supply of Hot Pockets. So I didn't mind giving them to friends or whatnot. And, you know, as much as I'm a, a Hot Pocket ambassador, right? How many Hot Pockets am I actually going to eat, you know? I would much rather give them, uh, spread the joy of the, the, the gooey pocket to as many people as possible. You know what I mean? So I was more than happy to do that. And it made for, it made for a nice icebreaker at the party. It was a very enjoyable night of debauchery. Uh, I was falling off the ledge, clearly, into a pit of goo, a as I do. But, you know, otherwise, I was just hanging around. Like, as you may have guessed, I'm not, like, a board game person. I'm a video game person. But hanging around playing board games is always fun. If anything, just watching my friends have a good time is a good time in of itself. And it makes it always uh, worthwhile to go. So... It was enjoyable to be there, and I'll definitely be there again. Make sure that I'm uh, well-rested enough that I can uh, have that social energy tank charged and ready to rock and roll, you know? Because that's what sometimes you need, man. You got to you gotta take a rest. You got you to gotta take care of yourself and your uh, mental health, your emotional health, and everything else, right? You don't want to get too caught up in all your work and your games and stuff. And I'm definitely, definitely not the... The brand ambassador for that is someone who loves to work and do stuff all the time. But, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta pace yourself as best as you can. Which is uh, partly why, you know, as much as I have my book and wrote the book, it's a reminder for me too. So, you know, Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits isn't just for people to enjoy it. Do you talk? Do you talk? Yeah, you do. Looks like you've come a real long way. Be a shame if you screwed up now. I feel like that's... Wow. I didn't know that was a family-friendly term, saying that. I, I've i said a lot of things in my time that, you know, some people will be like, Brian, that's so family-friendly. I'm like, the game says it. What do you want me to say, man? That's weird. All right, whatever. So, I don't know what those goo monsters are either. This is, uh... This game, you know, we have, we have drinking and twerking and that terminology. Like, come on now. Uh, and then the screen goes black, because of course it goes black. Hey, at least I can do a, um... A close-up like that now, you know? You can do a little something here. There we go. Nice. So I knew I clutched it up there. I got a little bit. Alright, how do I magically pour the juice into here? No idea. A worm-shaped cavern? Is this the inside of the, the Alaskan bullworm making a cup? Is this what it is? No, it's definitely not. No, 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 no. Definitely not the Alaskan Bullworm. So, you know, the little bits of gameplay I've seen of this, it continues to be a little uh, impressive with, uh, like, how funny it actually is. I don't know. It, it's still enjoyable to me. Like, sometimes these type of games, right, you play them for so long, or even just a little bit, you kind of get all the gameplay, and you're like, ah, you know, whatever, but I'm actually enjoying this. So hopefully... That resonates in the videos itself, you know? Is that a uh, ski? What? Who are... Oh, you're from the thing before. But, like, I don't know... Here's the thing. I don't know what uh, things I'm supposed to be looking for here. Is it just little uh, chunks of goo? Right? Is it the golden spatulas? I still actually don't know what those do. I don't even know if getting all these big globs of glue actually add up to anything. What brings you to this whole place? We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? I can give you the goo. Anything you want. 
There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. Well, all right. That, that The deal's the deal. All right, so the Alaskan bullworm is uh, up on the docket here. Wonderful. I got to make sure how long... I've been playing for a little bit here. The, my big bag of jacks was blocking how long I've been recording for. I can't believe I did that. I just, I knew. I knew. I'm like, if I eat these, if I get this bag, I know what I was committing to. I knew it. But, like, I just, I was feeling it. You know? I was feeling... I was feeling sad? I guess? Are these... What? Oh! We're looking for the tooth in here. Oh, there's the tooth! Big ol' tooth! I guarantee you once I grab this, that bullworm's gonna come out of here and be like... Just like that. I guarantee you. Watch. Or that happens. Alright, they just fall from the sky. It's a whole big battle arena. Sure. That's fine by me. Come on. Nope. There we go. I wonder how I can avoid those attacks. Oh, you know how? This way. Yes. Do this. Oh, I can't because he was actually already in the thing. Can I use this on you? No, I guess not. All right. Nope. Definitely not on the docket. No, no. All right. So this is where it can get a little bit interesting here. With a hey, sand... Is it sand? It might, yeah, it's definitely sand. You know why? Because that thing takes the sand from the ground and tosses it over there like little mud chunks. Ah, I see now. Okay. And so it just it's just a stun. It's not an actual um, bit of damage there. Okay. There we go. Can I do this? Can I do this? I can't do that to you, though. Nope. Oh, that's how I can counter it, technically. There we go. Look at that. So if I do my stomp right next to it, then I'm good. Sweet. Return the gold tooth, uh, Alaskan Bullworm. Where are you at? No. Just kidding. You're good. Oh, and it's like a nice projectile sort of situation. Beautiful. Okay. Mr. Alaskan Bullworm. Seriously? He's not going to come out of here? He kind. It's kind. He's kind of obligated to, you know? If the Alaskan Bullworm doesn't come out of here then I would consider that uh, most definitely a missed opportunity. But we'll wait and see, man. I would have made a gold nugget. You'd be worm food by now. Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course. I do they? Whatever you say. All right, let's take that You over. seriously not going to show me the Alaskan bullworm? <laughs> Bro, hey, come on. Really? Come on. It's going to happen. It's it, You know what? As we're leaving here, watch. He's gonna appear. A few seconds later. A few seconds later. And it's gonna pop up out of here. And it's gonna eat the whole town. Watch. Watch. That's what's gonna happen. Because there's no way you tease the worm like that. And it causes that much of a, uh, a worrisome feat for the residents of Bikini Bottom here. And that's gonna be the whole thing here. Man, it looks really good. The game still looks really good. I don't know. I'm still not. Oh, the trains! They're stealing our soda supplies. Pony up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. Lest we forget about the trains. May I? <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, now, now at least we're a certified uh, seahorse rider, just like being a certified forklift driver, which is apparently a, a high esteemed thing, you know. Is that Mr. Cra Krabs? What? I thought he was on our side. Oh, no, he was taking 90% of the profits. I forgot. Yes. Mr. Krabs is a giant scumbag. Hold on. There we go. So, I don't even... Ooh, never mind. I thought I was going to say, like, this is a pretty, like, on-rails section. Like, an on-rails means that... You don't really have much control over what's going on. You're just kind of letting the, the controls happen. You're letting the game happen and just kind of following along with whatever happens to go down here. But there's still ways that you could possibly fail. And I don't have this on any sort of higher or lower difficulty either. It's just kind of where it is. So, you know, at some point, it'll it'll probably pick up heavily here. Yeah, there we go. Right on to the Polar Express. There we go. Is this a Mr. Krabs boss battle, perhaps? 
It has to be, man. Uh-oh. I do like how involved it is. I, I'm not going to be able to get over that. It seems like that level of consistency is going to be through all the way. Uh, I unlock something. All right, Mr. Krabs, a bandit. He ain't having it. He's not having it. Come on, bop. There we go. Give that thing a little uh, smack over there. One and a two and a boing. This train's huge, dude. Okay. But what Mr. Krabs could possibly do with all this soda, you know? You just sell it. There's healthier alternatives to soda. You could do seltzer water. You could have just regular... Actually, you can't do seltzer... Actually, you can do seltzer water. Imagine how much more money Mr. Krabs would make if he made seltzer water out of the water he has in the ocean here, right? If he found a way... Here's what... Here's what SpongeBob could be doing in, like, in the world of SpongeBob, right? You have Mr. Krabs who is clearly the marketer of the whole, like, operation here, right? But then you have Plankton with his technology. Plankton would be the one to develop the technology to sell seltzer water. So he would he would take the water that they currently have, right? They exist in water. So you just take that water, you put carbonation into it, you find the, the filtration system, obviously because fish can't... Well, I guess, I guess the fish can drink the seltzer, the fish can drink the water, right? I think that's pretty much fine, right? Or unless they drink something else, whatever. Regardless, like, let's say they just do that, and then they can have a, a, a collaborative effort together. You know, Mr. Krabs can sell some steak. I mean, steak in the company, not like steak in real life, like steak in the business, right? So between those two, they'd have a pretty successful business. Here we go. Let's go right into here. Like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Did we just kidnap Mr. Scrab? Mr. Scrab? Mr. Scrabs? Did we just take Mr. Krabs? But what was the point of taking? Oh, we're go. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, me boy, oh. That sure taught me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills. -y. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride. So, uh, the map trials allows you to travel back to any checkpoint reach. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, the map would be accessible here. Yes. Oh, so we can go to any uh, teleportation point over here. But what what I don't understand is, like, there was obviously Sandy and... Um, uh, who else was there? I think it was just Sandy. But, like, let's say, why couldn't we bring Sandy back here? Because she's the sheriff, right? So why did we only bring back Mr. Krabs? And why was there no Alaskan bullworm? You know? I don't know. I'll continue my adventure through uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Cosmic Shake uh, next time. Until then, stay spicy and keep me out and it out, all right? Bye.